Hi, Carol here, and thank you for joining me in my craft room today. It has been a busy few days. We are getting new windows and siding on our entire house. And I've just been cleaning and not been in the craft room. <laughs> so I just snuck up here to do a little work on this mini album. And I am just going to show you how far I am. What I decided to do is because I need a lot of space on my table, uh, underneath the, I keep uh, bins like this for every project I do. And I put the stuff for that particular project in a bin. And I colored them. And then I just stack them so I know, you know, I'm not going from one project to another project and have stuff all over the place. So I decided to get out another bin and put everything from this project in this bin and set the bin beside me because that just works out more um, feasible and it doesn't drive me crazy because everything is piling in on me like it was. So I'm going to have a seat here and I am going to continue on as till my camera runs, runs out. All right, so let's see what I've done so far. The cover is complete and the last time, I don't think I had this corner embellishment on, I put this little um, drawer hinge on here that I had in my stash for my mixed media. Ran some diamonds running out of it. Um, there's that nice bow. This bow made out of the two-sided tape roll on the inside, like it was made out of this cardboard that's underneath here. Uh, it looks like leather. I don't know if you can see that in there, but that bow looks like leather. It's not moving. I sprayed that with some um, ta uh, Tattered Angels black spray, and I put my um, thingies on here. I just lost the word. I can't even think of what they are. Grommets or little grommets. And then I found this little bling hope. And then if you turn it around, I decided on this one here to, um, well, let me just see. You knew I did this one in the first video. So I added the bling on the bottom from that roll of bling that I got at Michael's. And uh, I did an acrylic tag and I put life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by the moments that take our breath away. And I know Caitlin will love that. And I'm going to, so that's going inside here like this. Added the bow uh, on front and back. And then instead of uh, making this so it closed, I added uh, some of this bling, the heart bling, and a ring to go down in here to make it look like it opened up, but it didn't on each side of this envelope here. Um, there's one of these flowers and then I put tape on the inside so that I could add some dazzling diamonds on the sticky part of the tape. So it just sparkled. And then all you do is clip it like this. I added the earring thing here on a little wee frame. I hope you can see that there. And let me take it away back. Then I did a tag to match this. So you, I just did uh, the flowers on this side. You're going to be able to put something, she's going to be able to, I'll have a tag inside this one. Then I added some vellum or some acetate back there so you have another place behind the acetate in here and then she'll be able to put a picture on this side. So that's what I did to put in side here for her and it all goes in the flower theme right here and this is a bookmark she can have and then I added some of the matching paper on each side rolled it back to look like you know this was on the inside really there's just a square this much and then I added glossy accents on both of them so it's nice and shiny I don't know if you can see that, but that is the first page completed. 
okay and so it's ready to go into its holder which I am going to I think I had made this um, some time ago last year and I had just set it away and it's black and white and it has the damask um, paper on here that has a velvet trim and uh, I didn't use it and it has um, the acetate here from Michaels is one of the uh, paper packs that I had gotten and where's it where am I going to see so you're able to keep something down in here and I'm going to use this instead of having to use that as a cover I think I'm going to put it on the inside of this I made two of them one I'm trying to see here Oh, that you get in on this side and one that you get in on that side. I know that the camera is not taking it all in there, but I was thinking of putting this, attaching this in here and turning it. And this would be, if I can get it, I don't know if I can. I almost doubt that I can. I was just looking at that. I don't think I can. And close that down, so forget that. I just saw it there today as I was cleaning. I'm going to have to do something flat for the inside of that. Isn't that cute? Uh, I had made this for a friend and then we never ended up um, doing what we were going to do. So I found it cleaning up today and I was going to use it because it had the damask pattern, but I'm not now. So let's put that away. <laughs> okay, that's how my day's going. So I guess this is going to be the cover and I'll put it in a case. On to number two. Page number two, I completed this last night. I was just working on it. And uh, it's amazing how much stuff we have in our stash. I'm telling you, it's like an endless pit. That's the only way I can describe it. When I was going in there, I kept popping up to my craft room in between cleaning downstairs and I was looking for this and looking for that. And I'm telling you, I find stuff in every crevice which is good but then it's not because um, one of the things I found again and this is uh, from Stampin' Up! 2006 are these wonderful little embellishment stickers look at to put on there I ended up using it for this one that's why I'm showing you uh, I made a tag here and then I took out uh, I hope you can see that well I took out this little love note sticker that was right there on this Stampin' Up! thing. See? And look at all of them I have right there. And uh, I put it on there and then on this side for a picture and it's going to slide down like that. Added some bling. This page is from that set that I got from, um, I think it's, is it my mind's eye? If I fall on the floor here, you know what happened. I'm bending over to get it. It's from these um, simple stories that I had ordered. They're all all sizes of pockets. So um, I used one of them because it had the color theme. Um, inside one of them had this uh, piece of paper with the holes already cut out, the heart and the cloud. So I put some of the damask paper behind it. Added Beautiful You from a sentiment set I had. This Friends I added with glossy accents, lifted it up with dimensionals. And um, because I'm going with the picture theme in pewter, and I picked out these two round pewter, the pewter frame and this uh, whatever it is, circle, I went with this. So I'm just now outlining, but I'm going to use these. There's all kinds of neat stuff in here, like you've got these. It's just not in my color scheme, but look at this one. Isn't that pretty? And they're all stickers. Look at They're just not like as cherished for my dear, whoever. Scalloped edges, just nice um, stickers. Tons of them. So, um, anywho, I found that one note thing. That was good out of all of this, but you have to run with the colors you're going to go with, so there's that. Okay, so am I going to do anything else on here? Yes, I am going to grab some of these diamonds. 
This is going to be Diamonds and Bling Mini. So let's continue with, these are the circles I bought at um, Michael's. So I will just continue to use them here on the cloud. Bring them up here, cut them off. And then I'm going to start in on the um, um, acetate because that's going to be the next page. So let's just go like this with the bling. I think it's really cute, this heart. And cut into this one. Oh, I would rather be in my craft room than all of the stuff I have been doing, let me tell you. When you put your entire house new windows, you've got a lot of um, behind the scenes cleaning to do. And now our whole house is being sided, which is exciting. And the snow is getting ready to fall. We're supposed to have this major storm. And so they're trying to get to the pre, you know, the underneath of what has to go on before you side. So. I'm running coffee out to the workers and um, well actually instant coffee because that's all I have. I don't make coffee. I don't like it. I love instant coffee but I don't like oh look at my hands are so dry. Just notice that I got a boo-boo on this one and this one I just noticed the skin is like all dry. That's not good. And uh, anyway, I'm just forming this around this cloud like that so that I have a bling cloud for her. And um, the funny thing is, is I have eight of these to do. <laughs> uh, yes. You wonder if kids, uh, if I didn't know my grandchildren would appreciate this, there is no way in this life I would be doing this because um, these projects are intense, I tell you. They are. There's no way about it. No doubt, no doubt about it. They are. And if you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. There. So that's this page complete. Work it on the back. So what I did was, is I picked out, for this side, I am going to do, these are from the dollar store. I don't know if you remember way back when, when I first got into doing um, cards. I did a card using this where I had where you slide the pictures in and uh, it turned out really nice. So what I'm thinking of is taking three of them and sliding them down so that she can put photos in here. So let's cut that off, three of them. I thought I'd do like a waterfall down here and she could slide pictures. It would be easier for me to do this. Let me see how I'm gonna do it first. Okay, so what is this? I have to figure all this out here. What is this on the cover? Absolutely nothing. Okay, let's get rid of that. Um, can I use this? Yes, I can. So once I glue these down, you end up not being able to use this side, so I don't mind that yuck on there. Throw that out. And these are at the dollar store. You know, you get, oh, I've been using this one pack forever. So that's going to go down first. How am I going to do this? Okay, so if I have that going like that. Um, it's just going to fit. Hey, Cinnamon, I'm in here. So let's cut this off. Oh, this is beauteous. It just slides. So last night I was on Gina K Designs. They had their release party on the internet. I just caught the end part. I'm going to tell you, I really appreciate Gina K on um, Stamp TV. 
Very talented lady. And I just want to give a shout out to hey, Gina. Just a wonderful, wonderful site, Stamp TV. And uh, they had some new release stamps that I'm going to order. I just loved them. So uh, I was on there. She has she has a line in Gina K with her stamps matching uh, stamps to her cardstock to her die cuts to her everything. If you want to see some beautiful um, stamps, die cuts, cardstock, I mean that's where I order my uh, luxury Gina K luxury um, the Copic coloring my paper in the luxury line. From, from Gina K Designs. Oh, you can't, there's no better paper as far as uh, for Copics, for anything. It's such beautiful paper, the luxury line. And uh, I emailed Gina and I said, I'm going to put this on my blog, Gina. Um, let everybody know that those releases are out and they are beauteous. Okay, let's go. What are we doing here? So thank you so much for emailing me and thanking me for being on there even though I joined you late. There's not enough time in the day to do everything we want to do. Because I don't want to do housework, trust me. I don't want to do laundry and all that stuff. I'd rather be in my craft room, but Nobody's going to appreciate nothing done. So I ran up here before I have to do dinner. See what I mean? You just run into something else. Okay, so let me grab the cardstock I am using. What am I going to put this on? I think I'm going to use black. A piece of black for this side. Black and white. I don't even know like what kind of colors to, this goes in my other bin down here. Um, excuse me, I have to grab my cutter. I should have had that done. I'm using up my time, but I wanted to get a video down. Just showing you how far I am that I'm just not sitting on it. I am doing it. So it's six by six, which is really easy. I was gonna buy a guillotine cutter. I wanted a guillotine cutter and I bought one for a gazillion dollars. It was pewter, it was metal, it was huge, it was beautiful. And I couldn't read uh, the lines on it the way it was set up. I had to take it back. I was kind of depressed because I really loved it. But you know what? You have to be able to see what you're doing. And it was too industrial for what I do, I think. I don't know. But um, this works out well, the Stampin' Up! one. There we are. I always watch, I'm watching for a professional, I want a guillotine cutter, but I want a heavy duty one that sits on my table and, you know, with all this room I have. <laughs> uh, even this is too big, it's too long, but I'm thankful for it. I'm trying to see how many inches long this is. It, this is a nice cutter. I'm not complaining. I bought it because it was a nice cutter. Okay, so let's measure the holes here first before I put that on. And I want to thank you for joining me today in my craft room. I have some cards I'm going to do. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to jump in and do a card. I, I'm i going to do uh, this tree dye one. Talk about jumping from one thing to another, but I did. I grabbed this and I have this bird stamp with this flutter of birds that go across. And then I'm going to use this uh, big stamp here from Hero Arts, the trees, with this. And I'm going to use the owl on a branch with these fluttered trees. So that's my next card that's going out. It's sitting here. And then I'm doing, look at all my card stuff is sitting here. I'm going to do this 
uh, lights. I have a beautiful card I'm going to do with these hanging lights on here, this Stampin' Up! set. And then I'm going to get into, um, this is a circle thing I'm going to use. And, oh, you should see the stuff I have here for cards set to my left-hand side. So I am going to pop out a couple of cards in between this project uh, here. And, um, okay, enough said about that. Just so you know, I am going to do some cards. I'm not going to bore you to death with uh, five pages of these. I will move on, complete it, and then show you that it's finished when I get done. Oh, I wanted to put a tag thing on here with my handy dandy punch. That's what I was going to do because I want to use this. So let's use some of that paper I just. in my paper box. I mean, I ordered this and I paid good bucks for this on eBay so that I had it. So I am going to use it. That's a trillion dollar punch right there. It's amazing what we'll spend when we want something, isn't it? So let's bend this down, fold it, and get our bone folder that looks like a pair of scissors and flatten it out and put this on there right like that I love this where is my bone folder speaking of bone folders I don't know where it is see that bothers me okay um what am I going to put this down with I guess the glossy accents is right here. I'll use that. I'm going to have to go buy a few more of these. I didn't realize that I would use this. My other one lasted a year. I'm almost halfway done with this one. There's my little pearl pin in there. This is why I don't get anything accomplished like immediately because I jump from one thing to another. I see this, I start doing this. I see that, I start doing that. Instead of just finishing the project, you know, from one stage to another, and then I get cleaning, and I don't know. It's a never-ending cycle, isn't it? And then I get watching uh, videos of all these talented women. I was on Stamp Nation, and I uh, was watching a video done by... Um, Oh, I can't think of her name. Um, it was on uh, embossing anyway, and it was really good. It was really good. I had to watch that all the way through and then run downstairs and start doing some more work. And um, Gina, or, oh, I can't remember her name. Talented young woman. So anyway, there, my love notes and my little tag isn't that cute is finished okay so now let's cut the holes with my big chomper i've never used this so much where are my whole things right here this thing is fantastic i love this chomper i'd have used it uh, i'd have used it long ago if i hadn't known it was easy, that easy to maneuver it just looks, it, it's just uh, frightening to look at it because it's so big, but yet it's so simplistic to use. There we go. Whoa. Don't know what that was, but okay. So let's get this on. And what's my time? It has to be running out. Four minutes. Isn't that terrible? But you can see I have the two pages completed already. And I will put down these notes and the front and back of my second page will be done. And maybe in my um, spare time I will learn how to do voiceovers and speed up processes. 
so it's easier on you. I mean, you almost have to make like, when you're watching my videos, like, you have to have coffee, something to keep you alert. <laughs> keep you awake <laughs> through my videos. Uh, there we go. I got so much organization done today. I, I cleaned out our dressers, got that all organized. I cleaned out the cubby hole in our attic, got that organized. I, uh... I mean, it was non-stop, but those two things were an amazing chore, you know, you're, when you're cleaning out your dressers, and to have them all done and organized and folded nicely for another month till you go to try and find something and you wreck it all, you know, it looks like a store drawer now, but it won't in a month if I need to find a certain top or something, it likes. It'll be back to just shutting the door and nobody looking at it. There we go. We all do it. Unless you're, you know, super, super organized. All right, here we go. So, this is beauteous. I actually got it down there nicely. Look at that. I love this page. This is a pretty page. I'm going to have to glue these. I don't like the idea that, you know, she may open it up and one of these wouldn't be exactly right. There. That's so cute. I'm going to do something in there. I don't know if I like it plain. But anyways, put your gab in. How much time? Two minutes. I'll get it down. So, if you're opening it like this, it's going to waterfall like this. So this is going to be nice. She's going to be able to put her pictures in this side. Let me see if that's what I want to do. So it'll open up like that. And her pictures, yes, I do want it like this. So let's make these nice and straight. I should use the trimmer, shouldn't I? But I'm not because I'm in a hurry. That looks straight to me. All right, so all you have to do with this one, because they're flapping, is take your double-sided tape and... Uh, put it on the back. I, I just, yep, right there. One piece. That's what I'm saying. Oh my, wouldn't you know it? Ran out. Don't throw this out. This is what I make my bows out of. Put that over there. And let's grab another roll of that stuff. Where is it? Oh, I'll use this for now. The quarter inch. Um,. And there'll be three that will be um, flipped up. Flip, flip, flip. And you have yourself a great weekend. I'm going to do the card next and get it downloaded for you because I saw somebody do a similar card and really liked it with the little um, owl. Okay, I'm running out of time. 30 seconds. Thank you so much for joining me. The camera's going to shut off. And... This is going to go here, and then I am going to make it a waterfall card so that you pick these up and put, there'll be three, okay? So you have, it's going to go like that. That way, when you fold it like this, the, the uh, pictures won't fall out because it'll be from the top down. Thank you so much.